on thank you for watching here we can see my table with the colors that I selected for today I have here my sketchbook my drinks that I gonna be drinking while I draw and also there I gonna put you guys to film and I'm watching a video from from Fran nerd she's amazing you should watch her so first I will start by picking the colors that I want to use in this piece. I will start with a base a skin taller like the reference that you will see in a moment. Starting, we can see my reference is Kari Dayton. It's an amazing blogger about that she talks about body positivity. She's amazing. You should watch her. And I start by drawing the base of the skin where I see the shadows and then I will start putting the different colors that I see in each part it's important with color pencils not to push harder the color to make it darker but to go to another tone or color to make it darker or lighter depending on the tone of every part of the skin. Then I'm gonna go with this more pink color to make the skin warmer and blend it with the lighter yellow color. Go back and forth looking at the tones. We can see here closer how the face starts to take in, take in shape, shape sorry, with the shadows and lights. It's like a sculpting a face, little by little, with the different tones of colors. And also always keep on blending to make the colors like match together with the lighter tones. Then I will go with this ashy tone, tone to make the shadows, because shadows are normally not black. They are actually more like ashy tones that we have in our face. Well, all depends on your skin color, color but here you're looking at the reference picture. Do you see I be, I'm changing different tones of yellows, pinks, ash, browns to get to the tones and even a little bit of orange for the eyelids. Then with the white and also the skin tone, I use it to blend and match them. For the eyebrows, because you want them three-dimensional, I will start by putting a brown tone, then the ash color, and then even like a lighter gray to start giving the tones, the different tones of different hairs and match with the shadows of the face. Also, remember not to overwork a part of the face. Go back and forth because you are gonna see that while you're applying new parts of the face, other parts are gonna look like you need to go back there and make maybe make them darker or lighter, work them a little bit more. So it's easier just to work all around and little by little. It's a lot of patience that you have to have with color pencils. For example, here I go back with the pink and I start putting a lot more warmer tones. With the ash and go back and forth until I get the tones that I really want. Then I will go sometimes with a little bit of black, but just in some details, for example here, the black eyeliner in the picture, I will make it with my black color and some tiny details in the eyes, the nostrils, 
and also the hair surrounding area to darken after I put the skin tone sometimes the pencil surrounding the face gets a little bit lighter so I have to go with the black then I will go with this actual green ash color to deepen the shadows you see it's starting to look more three-dimensional remember to always put a piece of paper under your hand when you're working so you don't smudge everything and also because in this piece I decided to do first the hair with pencil it was really easy for me to just touch with my hand the hair and smudge it all over the face and that would, it would be really bad so I go into the eyes and I also start putting in the white of the color of the eye some pink, some grays because we have different tones also in the whites of our eyes I start putting the pupils and making her beautiful green eyes with different tones of green, gray and go back to the shadows because now that I have the eyes I can see if I need more we can see here in the reference that we still have to warm the face a lot more I start bringing the details on the eyes like the eyelashes and deepen the crease of the eyes also is every small line in the eyes because no matter how young you are you have like lines a little bit of lines under your eyes and then we start with the lips for the lips we start with a maroon slash brick tone color but leaving all the light parts white because we want these little really like voluminous shiny lips blending it with the skin tone and pink blending back and forth and also then going with a darker brick tone to make the shadows and black just to make the hole like the really deep part of the mouth in the middle then I go back to all the surrounding of the mouth because when I put the mouth on I can see in the face a lot of more parts where I have to go back and rework it and I start to make it warmer to match the beautiful picture that we are copying of Carrie and matching all the shadows in the mouth to make that kissy face And blend also it's really important then we finally have the face we are gonna start working on the neck so the neck I will go down with the base 
color that I use for the face. It's this yellow tone beige. And I will go until lower the hair because when I crop the picture, I want the hair to be in the photo. I will show you show you at the end how to edit pictures with color for Instagram. So keep on watching. So then I'm gonna start with this more pink tone because our body is normally more tan than our face and more warm. So I start with a brick tone, really giving all the dark warm tones tones of the body or all the eye shadow all the shadows sorry uh, that the hair also is casting on the body and it's really important to put like warmth in the shoulders every place that the sun will hit I start also deepening those shadows with an ash brown and important to go back and blend so it's more smooth that even though we will be blending at the end in Photoshop to make it even more smooth and clean Going with the ash tone all over the shadows to make them really dark. And then blend, blend, blend. Then I go back with the black and just go around the hair. Like really small parts are really made with black. I want at the end to do the edges with black also of the shoulders just because in my style I try to be more graphic like making the sharpie circles the hair that is uh, all made with pencil and then I like outline the body then we can see again the reference of course it's not identical but I think it's a really good idea and representation of this beautiful woman and then we blend more we go back to give more warmth to the face at the end to match a little bit better the body darken the eyeshadows the eyelashes sorry and then we have it we take a picture of it we have to take a picture of it to uh, put in Photoshop but here it is a uh, we take a picture then we put it in Photoshop to start we have to crop the image After I crop it like I want it, I will grab the uh, magical wand and erase the background to make it white. And also inside the circles, in this case. After this, I'm gonna go with the eraser because I don't want it to look like 
all the edges of the rectangle I'm gonna uh, erase around it and give it more like curves in the edges to make it more like a floating image also even in the circles so when I open it to make it a square for Instagram because Instagram pictures are squares and you don't want to crop your art when you upload it so after that I'm gonna crop it to make it square and give air to the picture so it doesn't get cropped when I uploaded it Then I will add a white background rectangle in the back and to the picture I will fix the contrast, the brightness and also the color balance with layers. Then after that I will go closer because I will like to take my dropper to take the lightest tone in the chest and then with the brush in a lower opacity I will start brushing over the chest to make it being so I can blend it more and bring out all the highlights just to make it more smooth from the strokes of the pencil This is a really nice tool to edit your images but be careful to not overdo it and end up erasing or giving, taking away like the analogic like beauty of drawing by hand. After that I will go back to my dropper and take the lightest color in my face and do the same to the face just to blend it a little bit and make some highlights that I want to make it strong strong, sorry like in the cheekbones, in the forehead Then I will take the same tone that is lighter 
from the face and put it in the shoulders to bring a little bit of highlight and make them more to pop a little bit and also in the neck and that way also the face and the, ne and the neck will look more connected Then I will select with the magnetic lasso the hair so I can edit it separately from the face because I want just to edit the pencil part that is black and white so you just have patience and go little by little through the length. The good thing is because all the hair is edges are like lined up it's actually pretty easy to make the lasso attach to the line And now what I want to do is make it black and white. I'm gonna merge the layers so I don't have that many layers. And then I'm gonna go with the magical lasso again and select the hair. And then and then I'm gonna edit the contrast to make it a little bit darker and so that it pops a little bit more. And then we have it. We have to save it, important. <laughs> I can save it in my computer as color pencil in my desktop as a JPEG with quality of 12 And that's it. Then you just have to upload it to Instagram. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification button if you like it. And thank you so much for watching. And have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye.